and she's here, the beautiful, the amazing nutritionist. <laughs> clinical nutritionist ah uh, karibu sana daktari tutakuita daktari utakubali tukuita daktari cuz out from our lips to god's ears Amen. yes Amen. Uh, she's called purity kamande and she's a clinical nutritionist talking about weight management and fertility leo tumesema tokole ashia moyo na tulie shia mwili you know we will eat of holiness of spirit and we shall eat of physical and she's here and shout out to an amazing individual. His name yes. is Gikunda. Yes. He says that you are a good friend. Yes, Josh. yes, yes. I yes. uh, got tuned in. Right. And I said, "Ma, tio, si juu ni tachoma anga what? I have already eh. burnt the burnt, photo. Burnt. Is burnt. Gikunda, burn it. <laughs> <laughs> so Gikunda, I said, "Ma, got tuned in." Right. And of course, he's looking forward to the conversation as well. Kama kawaida, you have a question or you have a you know a comment. Zero seven zero one nine six nine nine six nine is the number to call, or you can text me on zero seven zero two nine six nine nine six Nine. balanced diet purity yes. balanced diet yes. there has been a lot of uproar mm. you know people for white meat akina uncle sean are saying white meat is healthy mm. you should not do red meat yes. then of course we brought in a swine in between and he said is it white is it red <laughs> people were arguing what a balanced mm. diet looks like mm. probably you can give us you know a snippet yeah. uh, from your expertise okay. on what a balanced diet looks like before we even mm. answer the questions that were asked okay so a balanced diet is basically <laughs> what someone eats every day that is in the right quantity yes. and provides you with the necessary nutrients for right. you to be able to function yes. from day to day. Right. So there are principles that guide what a balanced diet is. And yes. One is adequacy. Is it enough to cater for what you need to do from day to day and still cater for what your body needs to do? Wait, when you talk about adequacy, you mean... Is it enough? Uh -huh. uh, enough in supply? Am I enough for, for it to sustain me? Enough for you to sustain you okay, as okay, a person. Okay, 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 okay. Then we have balance. Mm -hmm. Is it within the right quantities mm -hmm. for the right nutrients, okay? Mm -hmm. Whereby you're not eating too much. Let me take what you... Your example. Yes. Ile tumezoya ugali ni nusu. Ugali inakalia nusu ya sahani. You know? So if you're talking about balance, right. you're basically... Me it means you're getting all the food groups in mm -hmm. the right quantities for what is just enough for you mm -hmm. you're not taking too much you're mm -hmm. not taking too little mm -hmm. again mm -hmm. wa kenya tuko na shida especially akula mboga sijui mboga zilitukosea wapi mm -hmm. but you know it's right you take ugali right quantity mboga right quantity mm -hmm. kama ni nyama the right quantity mm -hmm. ama maharagwe the right quantity what is just enough for you quantity is not relative man because <laughs> <laughs> Yes, it is relative right. because we, in nutrition, we say care is individualized, mm, okay? Mm, mm, mm. So we don't have this one size fit all. Right. What is enough for you, Danko, might not be what is enough for Joanne. Right. And people are different. Mm. Right. So we do these calculations and get to see what is enough for you. Mm -hmm. But we have the general, Ioya, Mboga Nusu, Kwasahani Nusu, you right. know? Yeah. That is just the general. But now when we get into the nitty gritties, mm -hmm. what is enough for one person yeah. but not be necessary for what is necessary for, for another person. person. Yeah. Comp like uh, an example, someone who seated in the office, mm -hmm. the, it's not going to be the same kama mtu kwa mjengo the whole day. Of see? course. Yeah. Mm. Of course. Mm. So there's those things that you have to check mm -hmm. to see what is really necessary for right. you. Okay. Yes. Another principle we check on is is it nutrient density? Mm -hmm. Is what you're eating providing you with what is nutrients? Uh, nutrients we're talking about your carbohydrates, right. your protein, your fat, your vitamins, and your minerals. Mm -hmm. Are you getting all those from right. the food that you're eating? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. And you'll find what to amazoya. Then another one I'll bring in is variety. Right. Kuna you're basically saying you change up what you're eating every day. Mm -hmm. Kuna watu wamezoya ugali, 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 ugali. Mm -hmm. You'll hear people saying, especially where I'm based at, mimi ni kilala bila kule ugali na lala nja. Exactly. Na mka ni kitatemeka, which is really not necessary. <laughs> where you are, your campus is, where your campus is. Yes. 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 It's, it's, it's mm -hmm. ugali is everything. It's everything, but yes. it's really not everything. Right. Because if you have to change it up mm -hmm. to be able to get the benefits from these other foods, you know, mm -hmm. Githeri has its own benefits. Mm. Rice has its own benefits. Right. Ndizi yakupikwa has its own benefits. Right. Um, now we get into now e agenda, ya white meat, mm -hmm. red meat, red you meat, know. Yes. And you'll find that it's not really correct. You mm -hmm. know, there are mm. all these meats you're saying. Mm -hmm. You have to balance it out. Right. You can't eat kuku Monday to Monday. 
Mm -hmm. You have to change it up to be able to get the benefits mm -hmm. from these other foods, you know, because wow. red meat has its own benefits. Mm. Fish has its own benefits. Mm. We talk about the plant protein, maharagwe, mm. pojo, njahe, mm. and we know there's all this propaganda against njahe, which uh, we don't. Njahe should be sold in <laughs> hardware. Ah, no. Njahe no. and wow. cement, wow. one side. Wow. <laughs> Same was that. Huh? You but, know? but I hear mm. what you're saying, mm. but I'm trying to imagine a scenario mm. where people cannot afford variety. Yes. Mm. We're talking about people like Eskimos, they will always eat seafood. Mm. They'll always eat fish, mm. you know, and, and, and uh, I'm trying to figure out how, you know, of course, even post-COVID, mm -hmm. things happen. People live in mach machinani kabisa. And they're like, you know, I cannot, I cannot afford variety. Mm -hmm. What I can afford is this. So how do we still maintain a, a balanced diet mm -hmm. even within the budgets mm -hmm. that we have as, that are so limited? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. You'll find that... Yeah, yeah. You'll okay. find mm -hmm. that... Um, you have to check around what is really necessary for right. you. So we use what is available to you at that given time, you mm -hmm. see? Yes. Now for Eskimos, it's a bit tricky because like, f see for them, it's a bit limited. Mm -hmm. yes. So yes. their bodies are sort of accustomed they to what is, there, yeah, yes. it's acclimatized, that's yes. the correct word, yes. to what is necessary, with available to them at that time. Right. So whatever is available to them, then has to provide what is necessary mm -hmm. for them. Another example I'll give is the Maasai here yes. in Kenya. Yes, yes. Unapata hawa nakula Nyama throughout. Throughout. But we are very busy. Mimi na inusa. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> you just sniff it and I just sniff it and but I... you see that the Maasai are in constant movement. Hawa kangi pali pamoja. That's true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even if they're taking this diet that is very high rich mm -hmm. in red maziwa yes. blood, yes. Mm -hmm. they are moving constantly. Mm -hmm. So their energy expenditure, right. they are burning it up mm -hmm. very fast mm -hmm. compared to someone who's seated in an office somewhere. Eight and I had a fear. joke done comment before coming in. Mm. Um, ulika mahali uka indulge tu vizuri ka nyama. <laughs> yes. And you see that's the thing we're used to as Kenyans. Mm. We can you want to go all out. Yes. Nyama, 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 nyama. That's right. But again, after you're taking that nyama, mm -hmm. where are you going? So you'll just be going seated, chilling, mm. yes. TV, in your car. Na, or in your car. Yes, yes. Or like in Nairobi, you're in traffic like for four hours a day. Mm. And right. you see, where are you taking all this food that you're eating? Mm -hmm. Where are you taking all this meat that you're eating? Mm -hmm. It will be just converted in what to now what we're calling fat. Mm. Nice. Yeah? Yes. So now the body stores, the body just takes, our bodies are very clever. Mm. God was a very creative person when yes. he was creating us. Right. Your body will just take what, what is enough mm. for it to function. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The rest is now converted to fat and now stored in your body. All right. Okay, mm. so so there's a culture uh, mm. in, in, uh, in these fast moving economies mm. like Nairobi, Kenya. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because of what you have said, mm. where we indulge in nyama, mm. joani kutumikuwa na wewe weekend, mm -hmm. tunarua nyama, we stuck in traffic. Mm. So how, so because of that, we take up some small uh, activities called detox programs, mm -hmm. where we blend mm. Mm, mm, green, green, gr yes, green, coloring we, matter. <laughs> yes. <laughs> tunarusha ndizinusu, we blend it, mm. we do intermittent fasting, yes. mm -hmm. autophagy, and aga, aga sijui, yeah. ke, ke, whatever ketosis, and we do all these things mm. just to speed up, yeah. you know, and yeah. so that we can catch up with the health side of the health, mm. the health of things. Yes. So, so, so is this is this really a good practice? Mm. Because I've had uh, people saying, Apana, the body has its own natural detoxing Detox. mechanism, mm. Yeah. Mm. so you don't need to speed it up mm. or, or enhance it. Mm. ETC. What what do you have to say about this? Um, and this is a practice that was there sometimes back when the when the, I'll call it a fad because it's not a long lasting thing. Mm. Um, people discovered juicing. Yes. Mm. People discovered um, skipping meals. People mm. discovered fasting. Yes, in the Bible, fasting is allowed. Yes. But fasting to what degree? To what degree? Yeah. Yes. You know. Mm. So there are all these diets like what you have said mm -hmm. and. Uh, it's important to understand the science. Mm -hmm. Nutrition is a science. Right. Okay? So you have to understand the science behind a diet before mm -hmm. getting on it. Okay? Right. Yes. So I'm not saying juicing is bad, right. but it cannot be your only source of nutrition. nutrition. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So you, you can take your juices, mm. fine, mm -hmm. but it cannot be what you're depending on mm -hmm. to give you the energy for you to function. Right. You will find that when people get on such detoxing mm. let me use the word detoxing mm -hmm. there was all these detox programs going around yes 10 day detox Tox program mm -hmm. you're only juicing mm -hmm. you're only taking water yeah. for 10 days yes your body will 
sort of shut mm. because you're not giving it what is necessary Sir, yes, yes, for yes. it to function and that's why you find a lot of people who get on this <laughs> what happened you mess up with your body's metabolism right and the moment you mess up with your body's metabolism it takes time again to repair that metabolism mm. and as you said danko your body already has a natural detoxification system that's right. why you have a liver yes. that's why you have a kidney right mm. for because every day your body has to detox 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 mm -hmm. so this story of you want to fast track things right mm. Mm, not necessary right so what we advocate for mm. is if you can eat your fruits if you can eat your veggies as part of your daily intake mm -hmm. that is enough for your body to be able to detox okay mm. i don't like the way you're not talking about meat and ugali but it's okay eh? <laughs> we'll get there yes we'll get there <laughs> so you'll find yeah. if you if you can eat your fruits mm -hmm. if you can eat your veggies as part of your daily dietary right, intake right. then your body will be able to detoxify mm -hmm. but this again again get, getting to diets whereby tunataka shortcuts mm. Mm. You want to go on this diet? Yes. Let me not mention judge take your blow back. Yes. You want get on this diet X. Yes. You want to lose 10, 10 kg. kg. Mm. Then, it's not possible. Yes. A quick fix. You There know, you just no finish quick it. Fix, you <laughs> know? Actually, mm. I, I have indulged in one of them and I'm actually part of the pilot program of one. I'm not gonna mention which mm. one. And for 10 days I lost a uh, whooping 5 kg. Mm. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you the moment you stop. The moment that stopped being a lifestyle <laughs> because you know you were drinking mm. this green thing. Ushaik lala usiku 3 a.m. unanusa bajia na au kiku lazima pikwa. And all you're doing is eating drinking smoky juice. Yes. But let me tell you it mm. came back with the full yes. measure press down yes. second yes. Together. together running, running, running over. over. <laughs> You know, <laughs> and, and there's a facade that mm. yes, you see the the the, the, the immediate implications yes. are you have lost. Come yes, it's mm. water weight. Yeah. Yes, it's water weight. Yeah, ni me lose and people are like, bus. That's all I need. Mm. Give me that manual. Mm. You even buy it for thirty thousand, and then you do it. You lose water weight and you're like fantastic. Mm. Mm. But then you don't maintain mm. it, mm. and then you gain it back ten yeah. times. Yeah. So 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 what? This is the habit mm. of Kenyans. Yes. And and and. Uh, we, we understand that's what mm. happens what happens in in the fast growing economies yes. because we don't have time mm. to let's be honest yes post covid we don't have time to think about nutrition mm. i was shocked mm. when i went to visit a friend of mine i on a weighing scale wow why would you weigh food that you're you're cooking si unapika tu alafu unapakua tu joanic unapakua tu naeka ako na weighing scale yeah and the calorific si juu what yeah si juu nini and he lost a lot of weight and it became a lifestyle but i have a problem yes why is it that the things that are good like meat mm. like hamburgers mm. like hot dogs mm. like uh, you know the condiments <laughs> yes, etc yes. why are they the ones that are bad why is it that processed foods are bad mm. what we see is there's no really good food and mm. there's no really bad food what we usually say you have to if you want to adapt a certain mm. dietary intake as part of your lifestyle yes. it has to be sustainable right. okay mm. that's why you're saying your your juicing your green juices yes. for 10 days yes. you can't maintain that for a whole lifestyle mm. so you have to before you embark on a program mm. we usually ask people ask yourself are you able to maintain, maintain this it. as mm. part of your lifestyle right. Mm. Right. if it is not sustainable then most of the time you will not be able to mm -hmm enjoy it as well because i can only imagine how are your moods when you are on that 10 day i was very, very irritable mm, yes. easily irritable asira matatu tu nirudishie change wewe yeah you see so mm. if it's not something that you can sustain as part of your lifestyle mm. then it becomes very hard and if you you'll find that during this time you're not enjoying it mm -hmm. so what i usually tell my clients is if you cannot enjoy it then it will be very hard mm -hmm. for you okay right so you have to make sure that it's something that you can enjoy and even to the factor of time we we tell you have to create time mm -hmm. because it's recommended at least during the week as right. a as an adult if you can get in at least 180 minutes of activity yes and this is like walking brisk walking right. jogging or even dancing in your house uh -huh. per uh -huh. week yes. 180 minutes i'm sure you can create that what is, what is 100 that's during funny as 140 minutes per, per day, day. Oh, only just your dancing dancing <laughs> your and your sweating walking. and mm. your that's enough exercise yes. for you yes. you know so if it's not something that you can sustain then it's not going to be for you because yes. after those 10 days after those 6 weeks okay mm. and what happens during this short um 
short solution things is mm-hmm. what you said you can only lose the water weight utapata unaenda tukwacho yes. mm. very very many times mm. and you're weighing yourself and you're finding eh hey, today I've lost 2 kg but mm-hmm. science has found yes what is the one that can be sustained is a weight loss of between half a kg mm-hmm. to maximum 2 kg per week Okay. Beyond that mm-hmm. your body cannot be able to sustain it. Mm. That's wow. why if you find you're losing 5 kg in a week then we start questioning mm. what is not happening. Mm. Because it's not healthy. Mm. Mm? Mm. If it is not something your body can sustain, right. most of the time it will be detrimental mm. to you. Wow. So if you're not if you're losing beyond 2 kg then now we start questioning mm. what is not happening, what is going wrong right. because it's not recommended. It's mm-hmm. not right. There's something you mentioned mm. about nutrient density mm. and um it i think it's something that probably most of us are not very conversant mm. with you find that for example we, we we're really good with eating our greens and mm. whatever but at times we overcook at times yes. we wash our greens mm. when we've washed mm. when we've already e, cut them e, yes. e, so e, unakata e. alafu unarusha kwa maji unaosha unapika so again uh, you know i think it's something that most people are, mm. uh, in, the, in the quest of trying to be very nutritious mm. at times you find that even what we are taking in is uh, it's it's not it's not uh, you know healthy as well yeah. wow. it's not, it's yeah. not helping us yes. so how do we get to know for example how do we go about mm. our greens in terms yes. of preparing mm. them and also just ensuring that much as we're eating the right portion yes. that we've prepared it in the right mm. way yeah. all right we're going to be right back we're going to answer that question when we come back mm. how to prepare who thought that even the mode of preparation of this food mm. has an effect on the nutritional yes. value of the meal itself yani wewe umezoea kupika sukuma mpaka inakuwa grey is that inakuwa brown is that <laughs> and so please keep sending in your questions 0702969969 on matters nutrition um if you need assistance in any particular area yes. in that particular in regards to that please do send in your questions better still give us a call on 0701969969 yes. mother godanyo was calling you can now call mother godanyo i know kwanza wewe someone you see now sometimes the we call them occupational hazards mm. <laughs> because you see your job is very uh, demanding mm. mm-hmm and you're not in an area so umetolewa hapo umepelekwa northern ugulu uganda You've been taken to gulu to do something and huko you know bananas grow on the roadside yes. yes you know and that's all you eat that's your staple that's your staple food and it becomes your normal uh, meal for day to day living mm. and and w- one thing I, I i i wanted to find out you you, you said that uh, it should not be too strenuous because i feel eating healthy is such a cumbersome mm. thing mm. it's something that is out of reach like i don't think i can you know yeah. commit to it mm. full mm. full blown like mm. all my life mm-hmm. but but is this is this always the case is this true not really mm-hmm. that's why before we went for the break i mm. said there's no really good food and, and there's no really bad food mm-hmm. we usually say you have to balance it out mm-hmm. in the ratio of you're having 80% whole foods mm-hmm. and 20% what we call fun foods okay. Just, so uh, your your adjust it yes speak right straight okay. okay yes yes so your fun food and yes. now your hamburgers your hot dogs your mm-hmm. ice cream mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. so you can find a way of incorporating them right. but they shouldn't be the bulk of what you eating mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. so you balance them with now the whole foods mm-hmm. now your ugali your rice right. your bananas your meat your mm-hmm. maharagwe your fruit and your vegetables okay yes, yes. so because what people do you'll find during the week monday mm-hmm. to friday you're mm-hmm. this dedicated person you're eating ugali mboga nyama rice cabbage maharagwe mm. but kifika saturday na sunday you're eating all these pizzas Wh- you're when into apps your, eh, you know global <laughs> <laughs> shows yeah. you what yeah. bring Kondoku, nairobi yeah. and city life you know yeah. but we usually say what happens what we usually call the cheat day mentality mm, yes. so you put this day aside you want to award yourself mm-hmm. so the risk with what we talk about the yeah. cheat day mm-hmm. is that you'll tend to overindulge you will tend to overindulge if you award yourself two days of the week you want to, to cheat to cheat mm. Yeah. Mm. but if you can incorporate this fun foods right. 20% mm. of what you're eating then it becomes easy for you you don't find it too strenuous right. okay yes. so the the bad thing with the cheat day you will overindulge yes 
and after these two days you'll feel very guilty mm -hmm. especially if you're on a weight loss journey yes, yes. Mm -hmm. you tend to feel very guilty then monday to friday you're exercising to lose all this that you ate during the weekend so you over push yourself yes you over push yourself and your body will be like Uh -uh. Mm. you cannot push me this much yes that's why you see, you have to find a way of incorporating them in small small portions mm -hmm. but not totally setting a day aside mm. to over indulge wow. so that your body is now working in excess mm -hmm. to be able to get rid of this fun food fun, yes yeah. so uh, uh, uh i can hear you certainly i can hear you talking about discipline without even mentioning mm. the word discipline mm. but it's what Joannick asked before you know we went for the break mm. about how we cook yes you can have your half half your plate mm. of skuma wiki or cabbages yes. or whatever green mm. you know vitamins all these things eh? mm. and it's how you cook them that actually you know brings about yes. a difference in their nutritional yeah, value and that is true you eat the same meal mm. but cooked differently mm. and two diff yes. different nutritional mm. values mm. Eh? how is that so um there are a lot of ways of cooking mm -hmm. stewing yes blanching blanching <laughs> I did that one recently. <laughs> grilling yes yeah, you know yeah but when it comes let me speak on vegetables yeah. per se. Yes. um how you prepare your veggies matters right. a lot to how much nutrients you'll get out of your veggies mm -hmm. after eating after preparing them mm -hmm. okay so there are veggies that you can eat raw Mm -hmm. and their veggies that you need to cook for yes. you to get them out right okay because veggies contain vitamins and your vitamins are divided into two mm -hmm. they're fat soluble vitamins mm -hmm. and they're water soluble vitamins mm -hmm. fat soluble are your vitamin a vitamin d mm -hmm. e and k mm -hmm. then your water soluble are your b's and your c's mm -hmm. okay so what happens with veggies that have vitamin b and c mm -hmm. if you cook them with a lot of water or even as you're preparing you to cook kata kata alafu unaosha kwa sababu hapa nairobi tumezoea kupitia mama mboga before you get yes. to the house mm. na shaka vumbi na shaka takata yes. but in your mind hii imetoka wapi ili pandwa wapi hiyo yes. maji uh -huh. uh, alikata kata <laughs> na nini ni kando ya barabara yes. then you get home you want to wash them so you find that your process mm. you get to lose a lot of vitamins in the process yes. because the moment this veg is coming into contact with water mm -hmm. because surface area has been reduced so yes. they lose a lot of vitamins mm. yes. so by the time utasa uikange okay mm -hmm. then you find that by the time you're eating it unakula tu quote and quote kifagio inapita tu <laughs> inapita tu hey daktari hujatuambia vizuri <laughs> you, you want to cook the same skuma that you've been cut you've washed it after cutting uh -huh. you want to cook it again for 10 minutes how now wow how now literally we're not eating anything mm. guys <laughs> let's take a call <laughs> good morning on prowl ni leke guire mama kwa nio Mumeva mzuri kuna dauda etai. Ndodo, hivi wanaume wakiabutu naumia. Kwa nini? Hii chakula kila kila kitu lazima ikuwa na waru. Si ndio mzuri. Wanaweka waru. Yeleri waru. Mokimo waru. Yaani baka sasa mama mama wa nyumba kabla wapike unasikia ate Tariga wa roho moja tumenye kile atokuruga. Yaani mna chonga viazi ndio mjue kile mtakula. Yaani ati viazi lazima ichongwe kwanza kabla hata waamue kile itapikwa. Lazima ikuwa na waru. Because itaingiana na everything. Eh, alafu mambo ya makofi si. Ehe. Wanaka dhufu. Yaani tunaongelea huko. Eh, tunaenda kuzunguma na huko kunywa hata maji. Kumbe ni makofi si. Ado hebu tu apatie nini ya kupika kwanza recipe ya moya ya pilao. Sisi tu wataka kula pilao ya baharini ya Mombasa. Ya Mombasa. Lakini yaani pilao jeli iko na miji iko na karati iko na kila kitu. Sasa hizo watu wanasema teni nutrients atendo ati hiyo iko na hiyo mzuri. Juu kamiji kwa hapo kama change color. Eh sasa swali ni Atuwezi kula bila ya na tupate hiyo nutrients inakuwa hapo. Eh? Alafu eh. tena shida ya watu wengine hebu daktari atuambie vile wanafaa kuweka ratio ya hizi mweta gante. Hizi mm. mama sala hizi. Juu sasa kuna utu ukienda hoteli za Waswahili. <laughs> wanapata umeweka tu bao bao. <laughs> sasa wetu anatokea huko unauma ha. Unauma mkuu ya kitanda. Unauma kuni. <laughs> Ateni spice. 
Aya, thank you, Mother for you. <laughs> Aya, where were we? Uh-huh. So now mm. it is a uh, Joannic. Mm. You need to tell us what uh, uh, what constitutes your meal plan for a week, just a week. A week. Yes. Wow. Um, when I was at home. Mm-hmm. With with my parents. Yes. Uh pale kwa greens to right. my mother alikuwa na cheza green sana cuz mm-hmm. even have a small kitchen garden. Mm-hmm. So terere wow. eh, managu mm-hmm. eh, pumpkin leaves yes. and amua kamuki mole or mm-hmm. can happen you know. Mm-hmm. So of course greens kidogo yes. we used to consume a lot of greens almost every single day. Yes. Eh lakini sasa mm-hmm. ghafla binvu mm-hmm. uh pale kwa order. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Come, we have been ordering a lot but mm-hmm. I ensure that I, I, I change my carbohydrates mm-hmm. if today I do garlic tomorrow I do rice oh. the other day I do spaghetti or mm-hmm. evil just mm-hmm. trying to change mm-hmm. uh, I don't take a lot of greens as I should mm-hmm. that I know but <laughs> <laughs> and, and what are some of the implications you're going to tell us spirit mm. about that yes uh, hey, yes uh, but i ensure i take a lot of water yes uh, every single day mm. and uh i don't take my water immediately after my food like mm. na, but a yes. breather kidogo yes. wait hiyo bado hiyo iko na shida hiyo iko na shida kwanza ufai kukula chakula ukikunywa maji daktari atatuambia it's not kwa nini it is not na zitateremka aje metabolic kali anga what what it is not washa ikula ngonja goto producer na kwa concern washa ikula ngonja goto yes i have it goes strangling you downstairs na eh may assassinate your life yeah but i make sure that i take a lot of uh, and also a fruit nice tunaona umekuja na matunda i carry my fruits for today so i ensure that at least in a day i take a fruit uh maybe today i take an orange tomorrow banana uh siku ambayo una skip hiyo siku tu ni ile siku tu ile siku ile siku Uh, a cheat yeah. today <laughs> what are the implications of not of not uh, balancing your diet and more so um give us the implications of not having enough protein enough carbohydrates enough vitamins mm. okay so going back to what balance is mm. okay so if you're not taking enough of this it will definitely have implications you'll have okay? a deficiency so mm. yes Exactly that yes. is the correct word you mm-hmm. become clap for me I'm a good student <laughs> good in this student. class of nutrition <laughs> yes so you you get what we call deficiencies right. mm-hmm. if it's not enough then you're under nutrition mm-hmm. okay so one of the ways under nutrition presents is deficiency mm-hmm. okay so you're either deficient like if we start with carbs if you're deficient in carbs then you get that your body you're getting very tired very fast mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you're getting fatigued very fast right. you cannot be able to sustain your activity mm-hmm. and then your body's functions slow down mm-hmm. because they're struggling to be able to get the energy for these functions to be able to continue mm-hmm. if you're deficient in protein you find that your muscle tends to waste okay mm-hmm. so your body turns to muscle to be able to get the protein that it needs. Ndo unapata mtu asipokula for a long time right. they they become very thin mm. because their body is now resulting to taking muscle mm-hmm. protein from the muscle okay. Wow. So you find that again with things like kupona kidonda you're mm-hmm. taking a lot of time oh. with wound healing right. okay because your body needs protein to be able to take care of wound healing mm. if you're deficient of vitamins mm-hmm. and minerals okay you find that your immunity goes very low mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. even with protein if you're deficient of protein deficient of vitamins and minerals mm-hmm. your immunity tends to be very low that's why you find you take a long time to heal from certain illnesses yes. because your immunity is It's very low. low because your body cannot be able to fight this illness mm-hmm. Okay mm-hmm. then you find that um your bones mm-hmm. okay you become your very bones weak. become very weak mm. brittle mm. ukigongwa tuna kitu unavunjika 
mm-hmm. hata moyo unavunjika kila kitu <laughs> yani <Yeah, ne>. okay <laughs> yes. then there are all these other functions like hormonal functions are mm-hmm. dependent on your protein your carbs and your vitamins and right. minerals wow. and we'll be coming to that when now we get to the topic of the de- fertility mm-hmm. okay because with fertility it's dependent a lot on hormones mm-hmm. and this is when now the diet comes in mm-hmm. so if you're not having all this then your hormones are all over the, the place, place. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and you know now that's why you have to make sure that you at least taking at least something that has these carbs that has this protein that has these vitamins minerals mm-hmm. and fats again mm-hmm to be able to take care of these various body functions right. you know okay. so you don't want to be under nutrition because people think under nutrition is just starvation mm. Mm. but deficiency as well is a way in which under nutrition manifests in the body right mm. we, c- we can actually jump right into fertility mm. because mm. that's that's really a really important and th- yes. something we don't even really mm. talk or, or think mm. about as much mm. uh, so so how does it uh, where do uh, where does the um, nutrition mm. and fertility mm. come into play mm, okay so let me define now mm. most of the time now you'll find this a lot especially with ob- with overweight people mm-hmm. people who are overweight let me talk on overweight today mm. because i don't like the way you're looking at me but it's all right <laughs> yeah? yes, so yes. you'll find that with con- with fertility is something that you have to prepare for mm-hmm. and a lot of people do not realize this mm-hmm. you just don't wake up one day and say let's get a baby mm. you have to prepare for it right. your body has to be prepared mm-hmm. to be able to take care of this human especially for the woman mm. okay and as a man your body has to be prepared in order to contribute to this process right. mm. of siring a baby okay mm-hmm. so you'll find that let me define what especially with overweight mm. so overweight you'll find that what we call a body mass index yes body mass index what unangalia weight na height ya mtu mm. okay <laughs> and these days we are not just looking at bmi we're also looking at what your waist and hip ratio is so yeah. if your body mass index if you have a bmi of above 25 mm. kg per meter squared mm. then we now say that you overweight mm. okay mm. so tukiangalia weight yako tuone haiendanishi na height yako kuna mali imeenda juu kidogo na we call you overweight so 25 to 29.9 mm. if it now goes above 30 we mm. now call you obese morbidly obese morbidly obese as any above 40 Yeah. Kuna What? classes. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Kuna okay. clinically kuna yeah. morbidly. Yes. Yeah. So clinically obese is above 30. Mm. Morbidly obese is above when your BMI is above 40 kg per meter squared, okay? Yani per meter squared of my body is 40 kilograms at mm. one point. Yes. Jesus. Then now we say now you're more Sasa kichwa peke yake ni wali. Anyway. Okay? Yes. Then we also look nowadays because research is ongoing. We are not just depending on BMI alone. Mm. We look at how your waist and your hip ratio is, okay? okay? Mm. That's why because we say apa kwa tumbo there's a lot of fat that is usually stored around that mm, area mm. so it's usually one of the ways we check and see are you obese are you overweight mm. beyond what you need to be mm-hmm. so if your weight height ratio weight sorry waist hip ratio mm-hmm. is above 0.954 mils mm-hmm. then we say you're obese mm-hmm. if it's 0.84 females then we say you're obese and this is very simple unajipima tu waist unajipima hips alafu una divide then you see what your ratio if, is yes. okay so if it's beyond those parameters now mm-hmm. we call obese and this now you'll find that the people who are mostly affected by fertility mm-hmm. issues when your weight is beyond too much what your body can be able to cater for then now you have all these issues with fertility mm-hmm. so you find that it ob- obesity affects natural and assisted con- conception okay wow. so it's not just the natural process mm-hmm. even for people who are having issues with natural conception mm-hmm. and now go for assistance your ivf your yes, all yes. those okay mm. even if you're still obese you'll find that you're having issues with that that's why most doctors you'll find advocate if you're preparing for a baby or if you're preparing to get pregnant that you lose your weight to a certain degree mm-hmm. so that your body can be able now to conceive that's right yeah wow wow okay mm. conversation continues right here yes. matters of fertility and nutrition with our amazing guest for today yes. uh, madam amatumwita daktari uh, purity commande That's right. um, guys are loving the conversation and learning a lot as mm-hmm. well by the way yes. uh, me being one of them yes. i'm learning a lot today and uh, i think uh, you know just trying to adjust where i can mm-hmm. and uh, you know just being very intentional in ensuring that uh, mm-hmm. uh, when it comes to matters nutrition because again if it affects even your fertility i mean yes. you might as well 
well start working on the nutrition and, yes. and the diet as early as now yes there's a guy called governor chumba following all the way from doha qatar loving the conversation yes. to lay, we were matters fertility yes. mm. mm-hmm. so you'll find that research has shown tunapenda sana quote research so mtakikubaliatu research has shown that there's an increased risk especially mm-hmm. in obese women at mm-hmm. least up to the quarters of three times more mm-hmm compared to non obese women okay mm-hmm. wow. and you'll find that as i said it's both impaired in natural mm-hmm. and assisted conception cycles right. okay mm-hmm. so let me touch on obesity in men mm-hmm. yes, yes. Okay? so you'll find that with obese men what happens you'll find that obesity mm-hmm. lowers the number of sperms okay mm-hmm. that are reduced or you'll right. even find that as they ejaculate there's mm-hmm. no sperm at all as wow. a result of obesity. Wow. Then you'll also find that testosterone which is a dominant hormone in males mm. tends to be very low during obesity. Yeah. Yeah. And you'll find quality of semen is again reduced. Right. With obesity. Mm. And you'll find that now with all this then you have your insulin all over the place. Ooh. And when your insulin all over the place That's right. it affects your hormone production of testosterone yes. and hyperglycemia sukari mm-hmm. kiwa juu sana kwa mwili mm-hmm. then it also affects the sperm quality and the quantity of it especially in men wow, yeah. wow. so it affects fertility all the same in general mm-hmm. rather yeah it cuts across it's not a one sided thing as mm-hmm. i said earlier mm-hmm. it's both men and females and women, yeah? yeah so usually we say a weight loss of up to 10% mm-hmm. can show a very significant difference oh yes wow so to say me uko kilo kama so if you lose up to 10 kgs it can mm. make all the difference yes mm. yes yeah? right. you know so it has to be something as you sa- we said earlier mm-hmm. you have to prepare for it right. okay mm-hmm. you have to make ni sorry to use this um mm-hmm. pictorial yes. ni kama shamba mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you just can't wake up one day and say leo tunapanda mm-hmm. you have to prepare your body yes, yes. yeah yes. you there's this thing we call the preconception period mm. you have to prepare your body during this and with people who are a bit overweight or obese mm. preparing the body has to do with losing weight mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So if you can lose weight up to 10% then we can see all the difference with less quote and quote less struggle mm-hmm. with fertility and, and conception. Oh, right. yeah. Wow. Mm. Wow, you know you know uh, mm. covid uh, I'll, I'll I'll keep going back to covid. Mm. You know covid actually changed our lives mm. completely. Yeah, totally. Our habits, mm. our lifestyles changed mm. completely. Mm. And right now um okay, I think uh, you know we're not doing so bad in Nairobi, mm. but I don't know if you've seen the rate of 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 obesity that ha- that is in the west mm. and especially in the americas mm. and and uh, then you see china how those people are very before you okay obesity to them is 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 what is it it's on purpose mm. say that you become a sumo wrestler <laughs> like you, <laughs> you are uh, fed to become yes, a sumo wrestler yes. you know and and when you look at these two mm. lifestyles and you see it matters population yeah. that's why i think china you know the the china's the indias mm. uh, the population is over the roof yeah. mm. so even without having to do a study mm. we can actually gauge with our mm. eyes yes. and see what's happening like so it now makes sense it because makes ideally sense. you'd be like well what's not happening maybe it's the food they eat they maybe eat. it's you know but again you're looking at the food they eat yes and and mother then you mentioned about the spices yes and all that oh, yeah. you know yeah. Yeah. and you're like wow they you know put put it all together mm. put one plus one equals two yes. you know it now makes mm. sense yes yeah and you'll find that yeah. we have really demonized spices yes kwanza kule uko kwa mountain yes usiake chakula yango nini 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 usiake chakula yango nini hata hoi ko siwe ko i don't understand where this demonization because spices are really good mm-hmm. And people mm-hmm. do not realize this. Yes. Mm-hmm. Spices are rich in minerals, in vitamins, mm-hmm. okay? So we don't need to demonize this. Mm. Right. You just f- what you, what you need to find is what is good for you. Mm-hmm. What can you tolerate? Mm-hmm. What do you like? What are your preferences? Yes. But you can just find what is good for you to just add to your food. Because mm-hmm. food again flavor matters a lot. Correct. Mm-hmm. So you'll find people have this idea of healthy living ni kukula chakula tuboiro. Mm. Yes. And it's not really the thing. It's not even sweet. Yeah. Must it be must, must it taste bad for you to no. be healthy? No. <laughs> you know sugarless, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> You have to you have to enjoy your food. Yes. Mm. Mm. So if you're not enjoying it, then you're basically not going to sustain it, mm. right? You know? Mm. Yes. So again, you have to 
make sure incorporate hata hizo mbao hizo yes. furniture tu nasema <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's a very good yes. spice you know? right. so you just have to find if you cannot tolerate it as it is whole yes. then there is a cinnamon spice the ground the ground one, one yeah? yes yes so you just have to find what can i take in what can i enjoy right. mm. so if it's not the cotton coat furniture mm-hmm. <laughs> yes take what is grounded, what is grounded yeah. yes. mm. so now um even as as, as we come to to, to a close mm. we need to start taking steps yeah. uh, uh, in, into healthy living mm. and healthy living means eating right yeah. uh, exercising and all these things mm. so what are the basic things that we need to check into what is the basic mm. that danko who 90% of his meal mm. is uh, i didn't say mine but it comes from <laughs> apps mm. yes it's it is an app generated <laughs> meal <laughs> so what are some of yeah. the steps you can take mm. even in this day and age mm. keeping in mind accessibility mm and of course lifestyle yes. habits mm. Mm. so we say as i said earlier mm. 30 to 45 minutes per day yes. of active exercise mm. yes. which when we define active exercise in mm-hmm. layman's terms you're talking mm-hmm. ile exercise mbaka unatoka na jasho, jasho. Mm. yes Okay. Mm. Yes. So at least 30 to 45 minutes of that per week at least for six days mm-hmm. is enough for you to be uh-huh. able to get into an active lifestyle right. okay mm-hmm. then we go back to portion control mm-hmm. whereby you're incorporating at least your veggies should not be kale ka kijiko kamoja kubwa no <laughs> yes let's incorporate that so mm-hmm. if you're looking to lose weight mm-hmm. at least half of it yes. half of your plate should be veggies right. and fruits okay right. then you now you divide the quarters Okay? Yes, this quarter But yes. now depending again on yeah. what your goal is because for someone who's looking because people don't realize that even gaining weight is a struggle for some people. Yes, the people yeah. who are on a gain weight diet. <laughs> yes. DJ. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he got married just recently. Uh, so, yeah. 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 <laughs> so, it depending on what your goal is. Yes. So you have to incorporate a lot of veggies, right. fruits, okay? Mm-hmm. Minimize on the processed foods right we're not saying restrict them kabisa mm-hmm. removed mm-hmm. but you can limit them so that you're not doing your cheat days yes, okay? yes. then again you have to do a whole of whole foods mm-hmm. we should not do oh. yeah you know those whole foods because you find yeah. someone who eats ugali from packet flour yes compared to someone who eats ugali from kusiaga, kusiaga. they are two different mm. people because uyu wa kusiaga atakula a fist size what mm-hmm. you were talking about last yes, time mm-hmm. fist size size ugali yeah. of unga ya kusiaga mm. na anashiba yes but you who is taking this packeted flower yes. you have to eat a lot a of lot. feet yes. close care the pack ime cement ime. pale kwa tumbo <laughs> ime eh? ime weka <laughs> foundation kabisa eh? yeah. so unga yeah. ya kusiaga yes if for bread we do whole grain bread right. and people don't realize there's a difference between whole grain and brown bread because most of what we have in our supermarkets nowadays is just colored bread mm. but there's a yeah. difference between whole, whole grain ile haijatolewa the the covering of the wheat yes no part of the bas that one the husks yes. that's not the whole grain in mm, itself mm. so just getting all this to <laughs> be able to just minimize all this right. allow me to touch on obesity in right. women because yes. we didn't touch on this right Please. So you'll find that obesity in women reduces implantation and pregnancy right. okay right. because see there is usually the fertilization so lazima mayai implant implant way, yes air. so you'll find obesity reduces that wow. okay mm-hmm. then you'll find it's been found miscarriage in obese women tends to be very high yes so they cannot be able to sustain a, a pregnancy, pregnancy full term, full term mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. then a lot of complications for the mother and the fetus as mm-hmm. well mm-hmm. during pregnancy right. with obesity mm-hmm. that's why you you will find before anyone mm-hmm. just that kidogo weight loss is mm-hmm. very very significant mm-hmm. so that's why we advise them even before you sit down with your partner mm-hmm. it's important as you're seeing your obs gain consultant mm-hmm. you can also sit down with a nutritionist mm-hmm. and get to see because there are also these vitamins that help with sustaining pregnancy your folic acid mm-hmm. your iron levels how mm-hmm. are they and this you can only s- come and sit down with a nutritionist or a dietitian and be able to understand yes. where your current nutrition status mm-hmm. is and is your body ready for this that's mm-hmm. right yeah All right, so we are promoting a healthy lifestyle. We want to start taking care of these temples of the Holy mm. Spirit, mm. not only inward but from the out from the inward out. Mm. Yes. Uh and and we um actually trying to start and and this is very serious because mm. we are going to start doing this. We we've had those three steps. Number one, at least take 30 to 45 minutes of active exercise. Yes. And I want to see people doing actually this. I'm going to start today. I'll make sure I I crack up a sweat. So for some of us who don't sweat you <laughs> 
<laughs> you take it to around 50 minutes or an hour until you break until a set. You see the first one, yes. you relax. And it doesn't have to be something that is strenuous. <laughs> me, I hate, it does, I hate yeah. running. I hate running. And it's not for everyone. Yes, mm. me, I hate running. The, f- the last time I ran, my heart told me two things, my friend. Yes. <laughs> It's either you stop <laughs> or, or I, I stop. stop. <laughs> so you can actually do mm, dancing. You yeah. can do the tie balls. Mm. You can dance, or, or, you know, from your TV yeah. and all these things in the house. You can mm. skip, do brisk walking. You're yes. talking about brisk walking. Yeah. Brisk walking, mm. Yes, it's not a, yes. So there's that. Then there's portion control. Yes. Tampoing in a way to tukona kisa asa. Tukona mtihani. Mtihani. Very good. Mtihani. And then, of course, make make it a habit to eat whole foods and mm. whole f- whole mm. meals yes and trying to identifying which ones they are mm. so 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 Johnny, i don't know kama webe you're part of this team i'm part of this team right. and i think for me uh, what I'll, I'll throw in is that mm. we need to we need to take it slow you yes. can't start today and by tomorrow yeah. you're seeing results mm. so please just take it slow yeah, pole pole because again true. you don't want your body to get a culture shock that hey what's happening right. all of a sudden mm. yeah. we are taking all these greens and all this mm. yes. so again you need to take it slow uh, yeah. slowly but surely mm-hmm. um you know you got to be able to see the results so consistency is very important very and mm-hmm. just ensuring mm-hmm. that um you know you're not doing it uh, to prove a point yes. but you're doing it for yourself yeah, at the end of yeah. the day mm-hmm. um you know you're doing it to ensure that you, you you're healthy and yes. you're, you're, you're fit mm-hmm. at the end of the day mm-hmm. and and employing philippians 4 13 that we can do all things to Strength, christ to strengthen who strengthen us, strengthens us because if a healthy mind is a healthy body mm-hmm. because it starts all starts in the mind Correct. and if god is advising you and if god is actually the one who's trying to who, who is changing your mindset mm-hmm. and, and and imparting himself in and, and you know you're seeking him you're reading the word mm. of god once it starts changing in your mind it will even change physically mm. a magic lifter when the rest of us are losing weight you're supposed to gain it <laughs> to gain it man. yes 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 <laughs> your body can be like what's what's happening what's happening because <laughs> uh, i've actually um sort of like observed or say wako quote unquote obese yeah. it takes them like nika wana kulaga kila time unapata um say amefika place they have to buy njugu they have to buy sim sim they have to buy this ni edige hota utacha kuongea ukiniangalia Actually, I don't. <laughs> I don't even do that. <laughs> I I don't even mm. munch all the time. Mm. I munch when it's necessary, yeah. which like, is all the time. Anyway, but there are people who wish to be thin like me, and mm. I will wish to be like Danko. Mm. Yes. Mm. Yet when uh, a person like Danko looks at me and says, "We were how healthy," yeah, kuna mse ata niangalia mm. seme. Actually, me do how co healthy. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Actually, me being the thin one, do mm. super healthy. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so, okay. b- body size and, and weight. Mm. Uh, sometimes people think that being thin is healthy. Yeah. Mm. Yes. It's not really true. Mm. Okay. Because you'll find there's something we call hidden obesity. Wow. Hidden obesity is whereby now we check on what your body fat percentage is. Okay. Yeah. So you'll find that yes, sometimes I call slim, frame, mm-hmm. thin frame, mm-hmm. but when we now check do the now the biochemicals mm-hmm. now where we're checking what your bad body fat composition is mm-hmm. what your fat your lean mass is mm-hmm. it's really not there mm-hmm. because as i said your body only takes what is necessary and right. stores the rest as fat mm-hmm. so when we check we see your percentages way Wait, through the roof mm. but now when we come to someone who's a bit bigger who people or society assumes is not healthy, healthy. Mm. they actually are yes the um, picture of health yeah, yeah. you know so it's not really about body size again <laughs> it's now where we're checking now the parameters that i mentioned earlier yes okay yes. so you'll find that you have to make sure that your fat is within the right area and that is easily pima to waist chukwa tip misha waist and hip easy way of finding what your body what? fat is at okay say that again so i take a tip measure i measure my waist your waist uh-huh. okay then? and then your hips Okay, so measure my waist, your waist and my and my yes. hips. Yes, with minimal clothing Sounds around wrong, that area. Yeah. Yes. So you take your tape measure yes. around just around where your navel is. You yes. take a tape measure and mm-hmm. you measure there. Right. Then your hips just below where your gluteus is. Yes, yes. You measure there. Mm-hmm. Then you divide your waist by your hips. Your hips, okay? yes. So, ukipata, kama yeah. we ni mwanaume, yes. it's above 0.95. Mm-hmm. Then, hapo tukona shida. 
If you're a female and you divide this and you find it's more than 0.8, mm-hmm. then now we have a problem there. Where? So Where? some of us already, after we don't need to measure. <laughs> that's a very good thing so yes. once you find it's above 0.95 for men yes well, it tells you that you need to There's some, think you now need to do something right mm. yes okay mm. Wow. Wow. Mm. Yeah. Some of us have uh, wing skills at the in the house. And you know now that's another thing that yeah. we forgot to mention. Yes. Your cages mm-hmm. really fluctuate right. with a lot of things, especially with females. Mm. Yes. Because now they have all this cycle going on. Mm-hmm. So you'll find your wi- cycle during your menses tends to be different during this other period. Mm. When you're ovulating, it's different. Okay. So we are not checking again with weight kamakitambo mm. right that's now we when we now get into the inches part of it mm-hmm. your waist inches right your hip inches mm-hmm. hapa katikati. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you're checking all that yes. so it's not just about the kgs and now people need to move away from the numbers mentality mm. okay. so you're weighing yourself every morning every morning so in your mind you're like things are not I'm changing not, you n- go yes. hard on yourself mm. and it's not really working so yes. we usually say at least your waist the inches it's more easy to oh, not check. to yeah mm. checking your inches Us. it is faster mm-hmm. and you can easily see results with inches <laughs> compared to kgs, to KGs. On the wow wow my friend as a hey. purity thank you so much for That's coming through for us it's me. been very educative mm, very. now we know what to do remember to take your uh, you know your waist and your hip mm. and divide it and see the ratio in mm. which mm. so if for 0.95 uh, anything above that for men you need to start working out you need to start checking your diet you need mm. to start making sure that you bring that down mm. and for ladies 0.8 yes. as well and mm. then remember 30 to 40 clifter 30 to at it doesn't mean that you see it not like lose. We are the only ones uh, participating mm-hmm. in active, yes. in, uh, active exercise. Mm-hmm. Even you, 30 to 45 minutes of active exercise, mm-hmm. portion control. Lord, I need your hand <laughs> here. <laughs> I need. <laughs> and of course, make sure you mm. consume more whole foods yeah. Yeah. than the processed mm-hmm. ones. Ah oh, man, I, I don't know what much we can say. I think time just flies. Yeah. We are going to have to bring you back. Uh, Karibu Sana, to. thank you for taking the drive, uh, the flight. Amen. to this place mm. and just being with us mm. here. Thank you so much yes. for having me. Yes. I think this is a conversation that we need to keep on going. Yes. 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 Yeah? yeah. We can't, as you can say, time yes. 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 we've not really <laughs> gone yeah. into many things. Mm. Yes. But I think it's a conversation we can continue. Yes. So I think I can share my socials yes. with yes. anyone who needs to reach me. Fantastic. Okay. Mm. On IG, you can find me at Kularzuri underscore nutrition. Mm-hmm. That is my IG page. Then on Twitter, at Pure underscore commander, then we can get the conversation going. If yes. you need to email me, <laughs> it's kulazuri e n t at gmail dot com. All right, at yes. kulazuri underscore nutrition. That's our Instagram, Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitter. Twitter at Pure underscore commande. P u r w e. Yes. Underscore commande. Yes. Yes. Then on Gmail we are kulazuri e n t mm-hmm. at gmail dot, dot com, com. Yes. fantastic you can reach out to her in case you have any questions or maybe you're looking for a plan by the she's a professional so trust me uh, it will cost you today it was free of charge <laughs> but that is her profession i know what you need to do as children of the light mm. we need to start investing in other people's yes. you know you know yeah so please you can reach out in case you have any question it would be a good thing joanic anything from your end um, I think for now, uh, the conversation continues also on our social media platforms right. at Power Radio KE. Mm. Um, if you have any questions, please do send them in. We're going to be forwarding them to uh, to our professional. And of course, we're yeah. going to be getting back to you with the answers. So uh, just keep talking to us on our social media platforms at okay. Power Radio KE. Pearl in the morning. Weekdays from 5.30 a.m. to 10 a.m.